Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Myself, uh, Dr. Sumit Patil, and I make videos upon English literature, its history, background, social, political, economical, cultural, religious, and uh, several backgrounds I have discussed up till now. And uh, uh, the previous video which I have uh, posted yesterday, it was on uh, the interregnum period which started in uh, the year 1649 and it lasted till 1660. And uh, today, I am going to speak about a very uh, interesting uh, period in the history of English literature, which is also called as uh, the Restoration Age. Now, uh, today's topic or today's video, it is based upon the Restoration Age and why the first, the, the first and the foremost thing I would be discussing is why this age is called as the Restoration Age. So, let's begin. So, uh, to begin with the first and the foremost point as uh, right now I have pointed out that is the restoration age. Uh, the restoration of monarchy was restored or it has been regained uh, once again in the year 1660 with the coronation of uh, Charles, uh, King Charles II on uh, 4th of April 1660 uh, by the declaration of Breda. Uh, it was on this day, that is uh, 4th of April uh, 1660, when King, J uh, King Charles II, he comes to the throne. And uh, several things I would be discussing uh, systematically and uh, chronologically. So the first and the foremost thing in this uh, restoration age is uh, restoration of monarchy first point and uh, what is the age or what is the period when uh, the restoration starts the first thing is it starts in the year 1660 it ends in the year uh, 1688 roughly and uh, what happens after 1688 i would be discussing in the uh, upcoming minutes in this video now the first and the foremost point is uh, when uh, this uh, Ch uh, king charles the second when he comes to the throne on 4th of April uh, 1660. Now when uh, the restoration of monarchy it has happened in this year 1660 and uh, the previous years that is 1649 to 1660 when interregnum or commonwealth or uh, protectorate that is Oliver Cromwell he was ruling England and uh, no uh, king or no queen was ruling England and the whole powers were controlled by Oliver Cromwell and uh, the rum parliament and so on. So you, if you want uh, much or in detail about uh, the interregnum period you can watch my pre previous video. Uh, I would be uh, uh, posting the link in the description uh, in this video. So the second point which I would be highlighting is uh, from the year 1660 to 1689 is the last years of direct Stuart King or Stuart reign when uh, these people or when this king and uh, queens they uh, from the Stuart uh, monarchy they started to rule and uh, they, they not only rule England but they rule Wales, Ireland and uh, Scotland. So these were the uh, places which was uh, controlled or which was reigned by King James, uh, sorry, King Charles II. Now, what is happening is from the year 1660 to 1689 is the period when uh, King Charles II is ruling and uh, he is, uh, uh, he, he passed away or he died in the year 1688 and hence what is happening is his younger brother uh, that is King James II, he comes to the throne and uh, after that what is happening is uh, and after that what is happening is uh, uh, king james the second when he is uh, coming to the throne he is only able to rule for uh, one year or more than that 1688 uh, 1685 uh, 1688 uh, that is 1685 to 1688 when king james the second is ruling uh, and now why he is moved out uh, of the parliament or why he is not able to rule uh, uh, as uh, as peacefully as his uh, yeah, elder brother King Charles II because he was uh, following uh, Roman Catholic or Roman Catholicism and every other people in England were uh, following uh, uh, the Protestantism and uh, hence uh, he was uh, uh, executed from the uh, from the king or what what I should say is the reign of uh, King James II that is he only ruled for few years and then what has happened is his uh, uh, daughter uh, Mary the second she uh, she she was married to William the third 
and uh, they both were uh, uh, we, we, i should say protectorate or they they, they both were sorry protestant people or uh, the believers of protestant and uh, hence they were uh, they they were ruling from 1689 to 1702 so this was the political background of the restoration era now apart from the political background i would be right now focusing on the another hand or on on the, on the side of uh, the religious or the uh, uh, the literature background now what has happened what has happened is in the previous 11 years from 1649 to 1660 when the theaters were closed and everything were closed because uh, that that was protectant uh, protectorate uh, uh, era or uh, oliver cromwell he was a ca kind of uh, 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 very uh, uh, a uh, very uh, systematic or uh, a kind of person who uh, tried to uh, not only uh, control people but tried to control the minds of people but here when king charles the second he came to the power he uh, made it free uh, the first and the foremost thing he did is he opened the theaters and uh, by opening the theaters what has happened is people started to enjoy the life of uh, england and they started to go to operas they started to uh, enjoy the plays which were written which were performed and the first thing that has happened in the restoration era is restoration comedy uh, and comedy of manners these plays were written and these plays were performed and the two major uh, uh, playwrights in the Uh, comedy of manners or restoration comedy is william wycherly and william congreve uh, i would be uh, higher detail i would be highlighting about these two people and their works in detail in the upcoming minutes but after that what has happened is restoration comedy the first uh, professional writer was uh, or sorry uh, the first professional actor or actress was nell gwin who was also the mistress of uh, the king charles the second and coming to the literature background which kind of literary genre was uh, written or which kind of literary genre was uh, used and uh, people wrote the f the first and the foremost thing is novel biography history travel writing and uh, journalism uh, journalism and uh, apart from journalism the basic thing though those people wrote is uh, uh, comedies why because the previous 11 years they they suffered a lot as you all know you might have seen in the interregnum period uh, if you haven't watched my previous videos about elizabethan age uh, jacobian age carolingian age uh, you must go and watch my videos wherein i have uh, lucidly mentioned uh, in detail about those eras now coming to the people or which people or which playwrights uh, they were famous and they uh, they became extremely famous by their uh, writings the first and the foremost is john dryden then uh, comes john milton uh, then as right now i have mentioned is william wycherly william congreve and afra ben afra ben's uh, urunoku uh, it is a true story or it is a history of a slave which is very famous and she is also called as the first professional women writer in the history of english literature wherein uh, you you all know that uh, earlier women were not allowed to perform in the plays and they were not allowed to write also and uh, in the upcoming uh, generation when uh, george eliot uh, mary ann evans when she changed her name uh, to a pen name that is george eliot uh, so these were the things which was happening in uh, england and women women were not allowed to perform in the plays but this first woman that is uh, nell gwin who was also the mistress of uh, king charles the second she was the first professional write, uh, first professional actor and first professional writer was afra ben now coming to the point of uh, the major uh, uh, playwrights that is john milton john milton's paradise lost is uh, extremely famous till date and uh, he has also written on his blindness uh, in the last years of his life he uh, lost his eyesight and uh, there were so many things which has happened as uh, john dryden's uh, uh, he is also called as the major satirist of his age and uh, william wycherly's uh, the Uh, the country wife and william congreve's the uh, the way of the world these two plays are extremely famous in the uh, in the genre that is comedy of manners wherein they highlighted the life of restoration age and which kind of life uh, these people were living they were uh, they were living happily 
they were also people uh, who were who used to flirt with uh, uh, with upper caste uh, we can say elite people or aristocratic people because there were so many restrictions which were imposed during the uh, uh, interregnum or commonwealth period uh, due to the uh, due to the rule of oliver cromwell and uh, we can see or uh, i can uh, make it sure or, or I can say that restoration era 1660 to 1700 roughly we can uh, assume that these 40 years were quite good time as compared to the interregnum year or interregnum period and uh, before that uh, that was uh, Caroline age uh, 1625 to 49 and uh, prior to that that was jacobian age that is 1603 to 1625 and the most happy period was the time of queen elizabeth that is 1558 to 1603 so this is it and uh, what were the different things as right now, right now i have mentioned is uh, comedy of manners satire heroic couplet was written uh, social life politics restoration of monarchy most important thing in the restoration era or restoration age is the restoration of monarchy uh, with the uh, with the coronation of charles the second and uh, uh, finally the happiest thing that has happened in the restoration era is the reopening of the theaters and uh, people enjoyed a lot during uh, the reign of king charles the second and uh, uh, this is it for today's video. I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, don't uh, forget to uh, hit the like button and uh, share as much as possible with your family and friends and especially English literature students. And uh, finally, the last point I would like to mention is don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can get the uh, upcoming videos and hit the bell icon uh, to get the uh, uh, latest notification about my videos. Thank you so much. Keep sharing and keep watching.